Shabbat Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessing to the Ophelia Akim, let's preach the word in all truth and sincerity, along with is like foreigner brothers that light the heathens, but the line of outside goes back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. And so this is Brother Yakal Amah for the lesson. And um, today's lesson will be entitled, Blessed are the pure in heart. You know, I just going to go on some precepts. And uh, Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of the Halabah Shimon Shai. And I'm going to start from the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 8. And it reads, Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see the Most High Yahweh. And that's right, man. You know, now, when the Lord Yahweh Shai says, Blessed are the pure in heart, he was only speaking to the elect, you know, which at this time were his disciples, you know, excluding uh, Judas Iscariot, you know, and our word heart goes back to the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. You know, so blessed are the pure in mind, for they shall see the Most High Yahweh. Yeah, because. The elect, they won't be defiled with all these different ways of life. You know, all these different religions outside the truth, man. You know, rather it be Christianity, being a Muslim, being a Kemet, you know, um, Seventh-day Adventist, you know, Roman Catholicism. You know, anything that's opposed to the truth, the elect will not be defiled with all these uh, bugged out doctrines. You know, the elect will be pure in spirit, pure in mind. You know, and that leads me to Psalms 32, verses 1 through 2. And this is a psalm of King David. And it reads, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. And right, you know, and that only applies to the elect because the precious blood of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, will be covered on the elect the men of Israel, the 144,000, you know, uh, as the rest of the one-third that believe in the truth, you know. So um, it says, verse 2, it says, Blessed is a man unto whom the Lord Yahweh imputeth not iniquity, right, which iniquity means sin, and whose spirit there is no gal, right. You know, let's look at that word gal. <clears throat> gal is from the Hebrew word ramya, ramya, or ramaya, which means deceit, you know, right here, treachery treachery, you know, so the elect, you know, they won't be deceitful. They won't be doing the work of the Lord deceitfully. You know, as the scriptures say, uh, I think that's in Isaiah 48 and verse 10, I believe. Um, it says, woe unto him that do the work of the Lord deceitfully. Let's see. Deceitfully. Uh, just bear one second, I can. Woe unto him that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. Yeah, Salak Yaakum, it was really Jeremiah 48 and verse 10. Um, and it reads, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord Yahweh deceitfully. Yeah, you know, and that's all the men that's um, pushing false doctrine, saying that the MLTB is not the Karagma, you know, that Edomites can be saved, you know, that the Gentiles are really talking about the, all the heathen nations that can be saved, you know, and many other bug, bugged out doctrines. Uh, John the Baptist wasn't in the truth. You know, you can have sex on the Sabbath. You know, those are deceitful um, um, words, deceitful doctrine that wicked Israelite men of the circumcision teach their congregation, you know, which they're really leading them into a ditch. Because if the blinders are, are um, if the leaders are blind, then so are those that follow the leader, which will be the congregation. They're blind too. 
and then both gonna fall into a ditch, as our Lord Yahweh Shai said. But it reads, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord Yahweh deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth his back his sword from blood. Right, you're not one to, you know, use your um, sword, you know, um, in war. You know, it can't be like that. But I want to focus on the first part, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord Yahweh deceitfully. So the elect will not have that characteristic. You see, because they will be pure in heart. You know, they will be, they, their mouth won't be found no gal because the elect will preach <clears throat> uh, the correct doctrine, sound doctrine. You know, uh, breaking down the scriptures, you know, which is hermeneutics, you know, giving interpretation of the scriptures the correct way. You see, and when you go to Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 12. Zephaniah 3 and 12, and it reads, I will also leave in the, in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, which is us Israelites. You know, because the Lord only called, you know, the, uh, the base of this world, man. You know, not, as Apostle Paul said, not many noble are called, you know, so for the most part, it's going to be brothers that's instant. Uh, the Lord chooses the insignificant um, uh, men of Israel in the faith. You know, now with balance, there are some in the brothers in the faith that have letters, that have, you know, degrees and stuff in college. But for the most part, the Lord's going, uh, he has chosen the base things of this world to confound the wise, you know. So, um so that's that afflicting the poor people, which only, which are only the Israelites. It says, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord Yahweh. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, which is sin, you know, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. You know why? Because the elect are pure in the eyes of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You know, there's no condemnation to the elect that walk in Yahweh's side, which lower like at that next. For they shall feed and lie down, you know, feed this truth, you know, get fed by this truth, and feed others by this truth. You know, it says, and none shall make them afraid. Right. You know, because they're going to have faith. The elect is going to have faith in the Lord that, he, that the Lord will be their strong tower. You know. Um, oh, yeah, so let's go to Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. And it reads, there is therefore now no condemnation, you know, which condemnation means, you know, basically, you know, let's just look it up, you know. As our apostles taught us, you know, we always must look up the words to understand what we're, you know, bringing out, you know. Condemnation. It's uh, from the Greek word katakrima, katakrima, which means damnatory sentence, condemnation. You know, basically it just means judgment, you know. So, in the condemnation, is condemn, it's short, damn is short for condemn, you know. So, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are on Yahweh Shah Mashiach, right? You know, no, they're not going to be damned, they're not going to be destroyed because they believe in Yahweh Shah. You know, which which are the elect. It says who who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Right. After the flesh is, you know, loving this world, being a friend uh of this world, you know, because what did the Lord say, you know, um, they that be friends with the world are enmity to the most high. You know, I'm just trying to get that real quick. So they're walking out of the spirit. They're showing in the spirit. You know, by sowing their deeds and righteousness to the Lord, you know, making the bodies live in sacrifice, you know, um, you know, pushing videos week in, week out, you know, daily videos, going out on the highways and bowers week in, week out, so like I meant to say that, and pushing their videos daily, teaching daily, praying, fasting, you know, talking with the brotherhood, you know, ch uh, uh, showing charity amongst the brotherhood. You know, those things are pleasing in the sight of the Lord. Um, 
It's a friendship of this world. Let's see. Friend of this world. Uh, I actually know that scripture too. Um, I think it's James 2. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's James form for I can, you know, and sometimes I hack I can happen, you know. Sometimes you can forget precepts, but you know that's why we have Google to go to when we forget them, you know. And it's, you know, it's a part of humility as well, you know. Um, this is uh James four and four, and it reads, "You adulterous and adulterous, you adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is enemy enmity with Yahweh." Which enmity means hatred with Yahweh. So if you're a friend of this world, if you're a companion of this world, you know, then, you know, the Most High hates you. You know, because you can't serve the Most High and Mammon. You know, it's, there's no um, gray areas. It's either you're all in with Yahweh's Most High, worshiping Yahweh's Most High, or you're all in and worshiping Satan on the left hand side, which is you being um, compatible with. With this lifestyle in this world, man, you know, you don't see nothing wrong with this world in America, you know. It says, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of Yahweh, right? So if you're a friend of this world, you're an enemy of the Most High, you know, and you don't want to be that, man, you know. So um, so that's, that will be walking out through the flesh, you know, as we read in Romans 8 and 1, you know, the, the, the those that... That are in Yahweh Shai, you know, walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. The flesh will be, you know, you being a friend of this world. But the spirit is will be you you know, you being in this truth and sowing righteousness until Lord willing to reap the uh 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 salvation, you know, Lord willing. Uh this is Second Corinthians eleven and verse two and three. And the reason why I'm jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I might present you as a chaste virgin to Yahweh Shai. Right, which that only implies 144,000. Because uh, the nation of Israel, the men, is uh, the woman to the Most High Yahweh, according to Jeremiah 62. So, you know, a virgin means, a virgin is pure. You know, a virgin is a woman that never had been touched by a man. You know, have never had sex with a man. You know, so in the spiritual sense, um, the elect, you know, they'll be pure virgins in the sense of not being defiled with any uh, uh, other gods or doctrines. You know, it says, verse 3 says, But I fear lest by any means, as a serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Yahweh Shai. Right, so the same way, that Eve got beguiled by the serpent, by his philosophies, the same way we got to be, our minds got to be corrupted in righteousness and in the, in the simplicity in Yahweh Shai. You know, because our minds are supposed to change when we come in the truth. You know, we're not supposed to have that same worldly mindset that we had before we came in the truth. You know, we're supposed to um, put on that new man, put on a new creature that's renewed in Yahweh Shai. That's renewing our mind, you know. So that's how we be corrupted, you know, in righteousness on the right hand side and the simplicity that is in Yahweh Shai, you know, repenting by and it all starts like we're we're hearing the word in repentance, you know. So I um and off on these last couple of precepts, uh, this is Revelation fourteen and one, and it reads, and I looked and lo, a lamb which is Yahweh Shai stood on the Mount Sion, and with him in a hundred and forty and four thousand, which are the elect, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as a voice of many waters, and as a voice of a great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song, which the song is this truth, you know, the correct doctrine, you know, of Yahweh Shai. 
you know, because there is only one spirit, there's only one truth, you know, um, according to Ephesians, the fourth chapter, you know, the Lord is speaking all, you know, different truths and different religions. No, the Lord only um, has one truth, and that's one truth in, in the scriptures. You know, that truth is, is contained in scriptures, the, the full 100% truth, you know, the doctrine. It says, and a sung as a word a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth because the elect are going to be saved. They're going to be redeemed and you know, brought back to Yahweh Shai, which would be the marriage. You know, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, he's going to be joined together with the elect again when he delivers them from um, um, from the ICBM missiles that's going to destroy America, you know, the war Armageddon, the war with three, according to the scriptures. Verse four, it says, these are they which are not the five women. Now, you know, this is not talking about actual women. You know, these are the women. It's talking about these other philosophies, you know, outside the truth. So the elect will not be defiled with those other philosophies. For they are virgins, meaning they are pure. The elect are pure in heart, pure in mind. Remember, remember, we read Matthew 5 and 8 to begin with. So the elect will be pure in heart, pure in mind, which will, which will, which will be them being virgins, you know, in a spiritual sense. You know, it says, These are they which fall to land, whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the land. Yes, you know, the first fruits, you know, that's the, um, you know, that's that's a very very good high office, man. You know, the first fruits are the best, the the best of the best of your uh of, of the men, you know, which are the elect. It says, and in their mouth was found no guile. You see, you know, no deceit, no treacherous, no treacherous ways. It says, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh. Yeah, because, you know. The blood of Yahweh Shai has covered the elect, so they're without fault. You know, as we read earlier, there's a condemnation to them that walk in Yahweh Shai, which that only applies to the elect. So, you know, I just want to make clear that soon that, you know, Lord willing, I was edified. And until uh, next time, Shalom.